Hi. Welcome back to Fattest Factory. We are continuing our quest to get these damn turbo motors done. Uh, last episode, we got the motors all situated over yonder. And this episode, I can either tackle the AI limiters or the radio control units. And I'm not going to lie, I want to tackle the radio control units. I don't know how smart that is because that's probably going to take up the most room. So I should probably do the AI limiters. Let's do the AI limiters. <laughs> AI limiters it is. So that is going to need plastic and quick wire. Um, because we will, we need actually what is it circuit boards and quick wire yeah, and the circuit boards I believe I have yeah I'm using the quick wire circuit boards too, so these. So apparently, I'm going to need just two assemblers making these. Actually, this is not going to be difficult at all. So how am I going to get 150? What do the AI limiters need? Quick wire wise, 90. So that needs 150. 80. This needs 150. Wait. Am I stupid? I think I'm stupid. There's a non zero chance that I am stupid. I feel like my math is wrong. Two assemblers making these. So that's going to be 150 quick wire. And then we have three assemblers making these. Oh, it's 270. Duh. Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> okay. So I believe we're making exactly the right amount of quick wire. No? Yeah, we are. We're making 420, blaze it, quick wire a minute. So. When it catches up, things will be okay. How much plastic did you need in there? 30. Okay, so this has to be merged and split again. Okay. Um, what's the best way to do this? First off, we're going to do... This is, like, super ugly, but I need to conserve space. <laughs> So that goes there. I hate doing this. I hate, I hate, I hate doing this so much. I want to, I want to have a space in between there, but. No. It's so, hideous. <laughs> it's disgusting and I, I hate it. You can't see. The conveyor belt is too short. Why is that conveyor belt too short but the other one is not? Bruh. Alright. Well, I'm okay with this actually. I am okay with this because it gives me a reason to not. Alright. So we'll do it through like this. Still really short, but I'm 
technically, this is making 67. What the? Oh my gosh. Technically, this is making 67.5 plastic a minute. Oh, this, this video is off to a great start. All right, we're fine. So yeah, we only need 60. Technically, we're making 60, yeah, 67.5. Um, but we'll just limit it with the, uh, the belt. We'll just bottleneck it that way. Um... I hate that you're right there. It's a pain in the ass. Um, okay, well, do it this way. <laughs> Which is okay. Actually, the quick wires go in this direction anyway, so I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. So we'll do... You go that way, and you also go that way. No. We have to split this into an assembler, which uh, I want to use that area for heat sinks if I can. So here, we can just do... Split this. Um... Oh, and these have to go into the air. Hey, yeah, limiters too. Can I do All right, so this is actually going to be fairly hideous. But you know. That's got to be split off. is not going to work, is it? Because you're just going to be an asshole. Yeah, these need to be split. But for as much complaining as I'm doing, this is one of my favorite parts of the game. <laughs> Figuring out how all of this crap is going to fit. Um, actually, you know what?
We got plenty of room. We'll just do this. I've made my decision. So we'll do that. And we'll do that. This will go there. I'll go there. Circuit boards and uh, I'm just can't afford. All right, well, now we can, bitch. These have to be Mark two. Oh my god. <laughs> should have tested. I should have tested it. I'm gonna leave that there so I can mark. And now that's all red, but that's okay. You know what? <laughs> oh, the placements are off today. All right, that works. All right, so that's that. And once again, I just want to get this going. soon as possible so quick wire can back up is there any power pole i can just yoink from no all right well. These are going to go. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> uh, but we can do some scuffery. Oh, that's really annoying. That's no. It's already ugly enough. We don't. We don't. No. We can. We can do better. We can do better than this. All right, and <laughs> all right, I put it off long enough. Luckily, the concrete's right under here. I never showed you guys the uh, train station. Like, I mean, I kind of have. It's the same as any other train station. This is just the, uh, the train station that's bringing in the aluminum sheets. Which we are not going to be messing with this episode, but next episode. Unless I get these uh, AI limiters done really fast, we might be able to bang out the heat sinks this episode too. But if I'm afraid if I do that, then this is just going to be a very, very long video. <laughs> Which I don't want. All right. And these. 
these can go just like this. Okay, are we like for real right now? Evenly. <laughs> All right, and we're going to be doing some fuckery with the um, the quick wire too. This will be fun. There. You gonna get mad at me? Probably gonna get mad at me. Oh, nope. That'll do. AR limiter. AR limiter. Oh, I, I didn't discuss this uh, in the last video. Probably should have, probably could have. But the reason that I decided to go with the quick wire, um, quick wire circuit boards is because regular circuit boards take copper wire and that's, we're already using so much copper as it is. So that's why I went with um, that's why I went with the quick wire version, which typically the quick wire is more rare, I guess, than copper, but I'm bringing in, I also didn't show this, but all the way at the, um, Caterium base over here. Not that. Well, kind of. Um, I set up an entire iron plate or iron ingot smelting and caterium operation over there. Maybe I'll show you uh, at the end of this episode if I have time, which I might. Okay, uh, how are we going to do this in a way that isn't hideous. So I gotta get the quick wire up there. If I can put this here. Aha! Bingo. So we're just gonna snake this through. I'm almost out of iron rods. It's just a very annoying thing to run out of. That's not centered. And I care for some reason. Limiters. Sick. That's that done. Um, and 
And I guess, once again, these can all... Can't afford. Alright, well, you know what, dickhead? I'm not going all the way back down. I know y'all motherfuckers are backed up. You're not as backed up as I want you to be. I mean, that's a good thing, but also kind of a bad thing. <laughs> because I need iron rods. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be a little bit fucked until these get full on quick wire. Because these are not going to satisfy the 90 per minute until that happens, but... If I can keep that free, I'd like to. So. Yeah. That'd be cool. Uh huh. I am liking how this is playing out. No, I haven't. I haven't done anything with the manufacturers yet. The manufacturing is where the problems usually come in. I'm gonna need more iron rods. Are you serious right now? <laughs> so yeah, like that belt needs to be full. And because you can't like underclock belts or anything to uh, tell them to, you know, send an exact amount. Uh, there's not really much that I can do about that. Which, I don't know how I feel. Like, being able to underclock a belt, right? I don't know if that would be overpowered. I don't think overclocking a belt should be something that you'd be allowed to do. But, you know, telling like a... Um, telling like a, a Mark III belt to go at 55% speed to send 150 items per minute instead of 270. I don't know. I, I think that'd be... Would that be broken? Would that be overpowered? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, Because on the, on the one hand, fix it like Lore-wise, prides itself on efficiency and whatnot. And this is hardly efficient, you know, right now. I mean, yeah, when everything gets all caught up and that gets too much quick wire, then, then yeah, it'll, it'll be all good. But uh, this is, what, 75 quartz crystal a minute? Technically, these can all be Mark 1s. 30, 45, 60, and these have to be Mark 2. Away we go. Stop. Right, it's Quartz Crystal, and this is the AI limiters. The quartz crystal is going to go with the, uh, the radio control unit. Hmm. All right, so here's what I'll do. I'll tell you. Uh, so for the rest of this video, I'm not going to get into um, the radio control unit. You know, again, just, just to kind of keep things brief. Because if I get into making the heat sinks and everything... Well, actually... Uh, uh, no. 
But I'll, what I'll do is I'll just I'll do two simple things. I will uh, I'll bring the the supercomputers up somewhere because that is something that I need to figure out what to do and where I'm gonna put them. Which actually they would go nice right here. I never pictured that I was going to have a full belt of supercomputers. And yet, here we are. Pretty cool. So now this is going to kind of be a pain in the ass to, to line up. Um... Sure. My, uh... Lesson that I've learned from this world... Is... Definitely... 100%... Do not build without foundations. <laughs> do not do it. It's a bad idea. Nothing I'm going to be... The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this huge-ass concrete plant. And... I'm going to make... Damn sure... that everything aligns to a nice grid. Because this crap is kind of miserable. And it's not even that I want it to be like organized and look pretty necessarily, but like trying to line things up. It's very annoying. Oh, you're supposed to be offset a little bit, aren't you? Oh, well, whatever. Nobody's going to know. Because you are not going to tell anybody. And I have to bring uh, I have to bring the lift up right there. Because if I don't, that's going to interfere with the truck path that's bringing quick wire into the, uh, the power plant. The, uh, the uranium fuel cells. And that's not something we can lose at all. Can't afford. Okay, boomer. Well. Alright, and then the supercomputers will just go up like this. Yeah, and we'll uh, we'll we'll figure that out. But before I end this episode, I'll just show you the improved Caterium. I don't think I showed the uh, the steel pipe processing either. So, eh, might as well. It's a journey that we're all taking together. Um, and it's not it's nothing like super special, but I don't know. It's kind of pretty. So yeah, you'll notice that these are um, iron ingots instead of just iron ore that I'm bringing in. Uh, I thought it would save a step. Might as well hop into the train. <laughs> uh, I, f I figured it would it would save a step because if I didn't if I didn't smelt the iron on site. Uh, why did that not pick up anything? Hello? Question mark? <laughs> right. 
if I was gonna bring in the uh, the raw iron ore and just smelt it, that would just make the uh, the area that I'm already building on bigger than it had to be. So that's why. Yeah, we're here. Fuck it. What the hell? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Base jetpack. So yeah, this is, uh... This is the thing. Look how gorgeous it is. Got this nice open field, and it's just random smelters just sprawled out everywhere. Giggity. But yeah, they're, um... They're all impure iron nodes, which kind of sucks. So we got, uh, we're bringing in 360 iron ingots, I think, a minute. No, we're not. Yeah, 360. One, two, three, four, five, six. Am I stupid? I think I'm stupid. It's 240. Dumbass beats. Yeah. Uh, what the hell is going on here? No power. Did I really not hook this up? <laughs> Glad I came over here. What the hell? Glad that didn't end up being a problem. So yeah, we got six miners. They're all mining 60 ore per minute. I think it is 360. Yeah, it is. Three well, whatever. That's that. Um, and also the Caterium, I don't know if you remember, but I used to have a truck station down here. We don't need this anymore. Uh, I used to have a truck station that um, was responsible for bringing all of the, uh, the Caterium in. But uh, I decided, fuck that and go with the train because it's cooler. This is uh, an overclock, 250% Mark II Miner, 600 Kateria more per minute. Um, I can make that a lot more. I wonder if I can make it back all the way to the base. I can make that a lot more um, with a Mark III Miner if I need it, but for right now the 600 Kateria more a minute is just fine. It's actually more than we need. Um, just barely. But, uh, but yeah. And this, uh, I'm not, I, the reason I'm bringing in the raw ore instead of smelting the Caterium over there as well is because um, it's already being smelted up here in this quick wire factory. I built a lot of stuff. Oh, this is... I'm proud of this world, man. I, like... I took a step back a few days ago. And I just, like, looked at everything that I built. And it's... it's... I like. It's not even something that you... Not even something that you realize you do. It's pretty cool. But, yeah. Uh, anyway. That will do it for this episode. I know we just did... Gonna make it. I know we we just did AI limiters and like that's pretty much it. But um, I don't want to start a whole new project because it'll end up turning into an hour-long video, maybe even longer. Um, the yeah, next episode, I think, we'll get the radio control units all set up and then set up the turbo motors, and I think that'll probably do it. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Later.